Hey guys, Dan here from Programmer Basics and today I'm going to do another simple tutorial for you. Uh, another one in Visual Basic. Uh, all of my first tutorials and videos on this channel are going to be based on Visual Basic and hopefully in the future I'll move on to C Sharp and such. Uh, but I'm slowly moving on to C Sharp myself now anyway. So I'm just going to open up, uh, well we've got Visual Studio up here. I'm just opening up my template from when I last did this tutorial and this tutorial is going to be called color bars uh, they're not quite bars but you, you'll get the idea once I show you so once again when you open up Visual Studio you'll be greeted by the start page and you'll just need to open up a new Windows form application and we're going to call this one color bars for now okay and we'll click OK and then it will slow down my computer enough to make the project for us hopefully right the idea of color bars is that you have track bars to decide colors um, and you can pick obviously red green blue uh, scroll bars and you also have an alpha scroll bar um, alpha being something I can't remember what the description is of it it's like it's either white and black and then you can or it's transparency I can't quite remember but I think th I'm pretty sure it's between darkness and lightness of the color so if you had full-on red and uh, no alpha then you wouldn't see a color but if you had full alpha and full red you'd see a color right so first thing I'm gonna do is obviously I'm gonna make the form bigger because we will need it like that and then we'll do the mandatory renaming of the form and I'm just going to name this oops FRM color bars there we go I hope my keyboard isn't too loud I just got a new mechanical keyboard today and it's awesome um, but I hope it's not too loud for you it is only a red switch so it, it's not got all the clickiness but when you bottom the key out it does make a bit of a noise um, so now we're going to need to use an item called a, a track bar, I believe it's called in here. Uh, there it is. So as normal, we'll just click that onto the form. And I'm, I always like spacing my things out properly, so we need five of these track bars. Four. I'm going to have them. I, I want to make sure I have them in number order so I know that the top one was number one and the bottom one was number five right there we are now I'm just going to I'm pretty sure I can do it like this I'm just going to stretch all of them out and have them reach the end like that and now we need to get into their settings so first things first with everything in um, coding which is giving it a name something we can refer to it to so TRK for track and then obviously it's a track bar and I believe it's the only item with track in it so TRK works uh, and then we can call it something and this one will be for red the color red so TRK red also in these settings for the track bars if you're following along uh, we do need to add a maximum to it uh, I've gone past it here maximum we need to change this to 255 reason being uh, in computers in general 256 is the highest um, number computers can get up to because that's the highest number inside a, a, a bit inside a bit because bits are done in binary and binary only goes up to, to uh, no a byte what one byte is eight bits and each bit is made up of eight numbers I believe no each bit is a number, either 0 or 1, and that will correspond up to, if all of them were 1s, it would be 255. That's a really bad explanation of it, but if you want to, just look up binary, or you might already understand, and if you do already understand, you might see what I'm trying to get at when I explain it like that. But basically, this is the highest number computers can go up to in this scenario, in, inside one byte, and the colors, red, green, and blue, like when you're photo editing, RGB, they only can max out at 255 uh, and the reason I said 256 just a second ago is because in coding 0 always counts as a number so if the maximum is 256 then you have to go down 1 because you include 0 so it goes 0 to 255 not 1 to 256 I hope that makes sense okay so we need the maximum of that bar to be 255 and that will correspond to the red 
in and output. So if they want a fully red picture or color box, they'll have a uh, they'll scroll that up to hit 255. Next one is green, so we just need to do the same with that one, but obviously calling it green. And the next one is going to be blue, so T R K blue. And then the 255 as the maximum. Like so. <clears throat> uh, the final one is going to be for the alpha, like I was saying before. So this one is going to be TRK alpha. But this one is also going to have up to 255 because it, cor it is almost the same as one of the red, green, blue. Uh, it's almost one of the same sort of settings, if that makes sense. Finally, we have this one, which will be we're going to make these bars, or we're going to make the colors almost work on a timer. And so they can randomly switch between multiple colors. So it could go randomly, it could jump between 1 on red to 5 on red to 100 on red to 70 on red to 80 something on red. It will always jump like that. And we're going to have a timer so that the user can decide how often it switches color. So in here, we're going to have for the last one, TRK time. I believe that's what I called it. And then in the maximum, because this one is going to be done, uh, this one doesn't correspond to a byte of data. So this one can be as high as we like. However, for simpleness's sake, we're going to have it go up to a thousand because that is um, one second. So now we're going to make some space down these sides here, just so that we can add some labels. And we're going to want five of these labels, one for each trackbar. Like so. And then we're just going to lay them out on here. Like so. There we go. So they actually look a bit funny, so I'm just going to move those up a bit. Yeah, that'll do me. Something like that. And so all we have to do here is we have to rename these again. So the free letter for these is LBL. And so then this one can be LBL red, LBL green, and LBL blue. LBL alpha, oops, and finally LBL time. So now that we have all of those made, we want to add in the text for these labels. Now these labels are going to be the corresponding number to the value of the trackbar, so what the user has set the trackbar to be. In the code, we will have to uh, create a way for the label to be updated with the current text, uh, no, the current value of each trackbar. But for simpleness's sake, for now, we're going to have this set to zero, as that will be the first track, uh, first tr trackbar value. You will see here on this one, on the bottom one, on time, I have set the minimum. Uh, of the label to be one. That's because the minimum of the trackbar would need to be one as well. Because the maximum thousand setting is for one second. You cannot have a zero second refresh and the program will crash. Therefore we need to set one there. So now this one can be one. Next we are going to add another label and this one will be down here. We need to rename this and this is going to be LBL color and this is where the color is going to be displayed and then if we scroll down well actually no scroll up we need to set the auto size option here to false and then we can make it as big as we like I'll just have it fairly fairly large but not too large like that and then we can take out the text so it's still there but it's invisible that will be the color of the um, well of the track bars. I'm really mind blanking when I record these videos. Now 
we'll add a button. Uh, I did not want to do one like that. I want a proper button like that because I want it to be the standard size button. <clears throat> and we'll actually add two. And these ones are just going to be BTN timer start. Actually, BTN start timer makes more sense. And BTN stop timer. Like so. Now, if we scroll down to these, we can add some text values. And I realize this video is getting on, so you might have to bear with me for a part two. So this one will be setting up the form for color bars. Okay, anyway, so in the text value, we will want to put start timer. Or should, should we go start random? And then in this one, we'll say stop random. And as you'll see over here, it's actually made it, it's not big enough. So we're going to stretch that out, and I want to keep these buttons the same size. So down here, where you see 85, 23 near the bottom left, that says how big they are. So I just want to drag this one, so it'll be 85, 23 as well, just so that they're the same size. Now I'll do Control shift s so that it saves everything for me. Right, now, for the form text, I've just spotted we haven't renamed that yet. So in here, we can put in color bars. And I'm pretty sure this is everything we need to add to the form. So now the form is done. Next is for the coding. So if you would like to watch the coding, be sure to check out the next video that's going to come up after this. Um, and I'm probably going to upload these both in one day, just to be fair. So this is our form. And hopefully you'll join me next time so we can add some code to give some usability to the form. Because as you can see, if I start the program running for us, my computer will lag out. And then when it finally does open, I'll be able to drag it over and show you. Here we are. So I can scroll these, but nothing happens for all of them. And so we need to add some code to this. And the labels don't update, and start random and stop random do nothing, and nothing happens. So next episode or next video, um, I'll show you how to add the code to these, but that would just be a part two to, epi uh, to tutorial number two, uh, part two. I'm really skipping over my words, but I hope you enjoyed this anyway, despite myself. Uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more videos. Uh, hopefully you've watched my previous videos up until this point, since there was only one of them. Uh, and hopefully you leave a like rating and at least a comment, because I'd like to know you exist if you are watching. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and make sure you check out part two.